All right. Well, we're going to try and go to one more caller, maybe two. We'll see. Yeah. We're going to go to Kathy in Florida. Kathy, how can we help you today? Oh, I need help with boundaries. Well, and how to make effective boundaries. That is a good question and a hard question and a question a lot of people have, Kathy. For sure. Okay, this one's a little bit more specific. I want to deal with financial boundaries. Okay. We are, D-Day was a year and a half plus ago. We're trying to work to reconciliation. We have some shared information, but we don't have full transparency. But the money keeps disappearing, and we have lawsuits involved hmm. where I am partially liable. Okay. So I can't sit there and say, I'm not going to pay this bill, or I'm not going to cover that, because I work from home. I have to pay those bills, so I have the power, the light, and all of that. Hmm. I can't affect anything that's with the attorneys, but I keep getting dinged because of what's happening on the other side. And I can't push and say, no, I don't want you giving money to this individual anymore. I don't want you covering their expenses because you're not covering your expenses here at home. I can say that till the cows come home and it's not going to affect of change. I can only change me. So how can I put in a boundary that I have absolutely no teeth in? <laughs> and make it effective. Hmm. That's, that's a, that's my good, quandary. That's a really good question. Yeah. Um, I think one of the things that people confuse, and I'm not, I don't know if this is you or not, so you'll have to see if it applies, Kathy. One of the one of the things people do with stomps and boundaries is they begin to looking looking at them rather on how they can place them on their spouse. Okay. Which means I need to do a boundary, which means I need to tell him, and this isn't yours, I'm just giving some examples, but I need to tell him he can't see her anymore, or I need to tell him he can't spend this anymore, or I need to tell him X. And really, that's not really what boundaries are. Boundaries are really about safety for you um, and what you can control. Yeah, so see, right. it, it, it's, it, it makes no sense and to put a boundary you can't do anything with, my, right? My safety is having enough money in the account because I know the money goes in there mm -hmm. to pay the mortgage, pay the electric, pay the gas to keep these utilities on in the house. Sure. And my, the problem is this is comes, goes to shared money. So mm -hmm. it's not like I can't, I can't cover it all by myself. He can't cover it all by myself. We have to merge it, mm -hmm. but then everything ends up being late and incurring additional penalties Sure. Because the funds are being diverted. What is you, so oh, sorry, I can't ahead. say, no, don't do that. That is outside of my purview. Why is that? I don't understand. I get it right. I'm missing something there. So so either you guys are not in reconciliation. Yep, that was my question. Or yeah. because how is that? I'm confused. How can you not say, hey. Well, let's you know. put it this way. I say we're not in reconciliation. He says we are. Okay. Okay. So then, so then why because can't you... Because we do have a lot. We live together. We sleep together. We create a lot of positive impacts. That last affair is over. This is a whole nother one going on. And I'm so, like, so he's in an I know affair we right can't now. do anything. And right now, yeah. Okay, all right. That's an important piece that we kind of left out of this right <laughs> now. Because I was thinking, okay, you guys are in reconciliation. So you're not in reconciliation, mm -hmm. whatever he says. I mean, I, I can, I respect his opinion. Yeah. It's just not. So you cannot be in reconciliation <laughs> if another person is, is, is involved in it. Okay. Um, and so yeah. this makes it a whole lot more complicated mm -hmm. um, than just the two of you trying to figure out, you know, who gets to spend money. Um, mm -hmm. That's the age old uh, struggle yeah. between men and women since uh, since Adam and Eve and the apple. Yeah. So so the <laughs> yeah <laughs> mostly what I've done so far is like look as long as you give this much what we mutually agreed upon to the household funds I don't say a word. It's, it's when you start diverting from that I don't direct any of the other funding outside of that I don't mm -hmm. put a judgment I don't. But has he been doing that? So you set that he boundary, had you been set doing that stop. It, and then he stopped and now he's back to doing it again. So then what was, oh, so he is currently doing it again. 
He's currently yeah, he's c- contributing currently enough. Pulling the money out again. Oh, he's okay. He's currently pulling the money out. So when you set that boundary or that yeah. stop, what was the consequence for him not following through with it? Bingo. Ergo, the problem. That makes it difficult. I mean, the only consequences that I have control of right now is I can move out and try to find something I can live on on my own salary, and then everything goes down the drain, and we completely lose it. But I was also advised by attorney, because I did check before because of all Mm -hmm. the lawsuits, Mm -hmm. that will put even more consequences on me. Mm -hmm. Because I have to wait and deal with the fallout from all the lawsuits. Right. Well, you know, I... there, There are... Yeah, lots of dollars riding on this stuff right. from the last affair. Very, very sorry about that. Mm-hmm. These things get sorry. so convoluted when, mm-hmm. you know, it's like little layers that happen back and forth. And mm-hmm. I, I I wish we had time one-on-one to speak, that you were with one of our coaches or something like that, to be able to get a little deeper into some understanding here because mm-hmm. I want to be careful I'm not just throwing things right. at you. Um, you know, these situations, yeah. first of all, let me say this, your husband's not extra crazy, not extra evil or anything like that because he's doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and that's important no, for he's maybe a good man making a bad decision. Cause right. he hurts. And I think that's a, a, something to say for our listeners as well, which mm-hmm. is, you know, I'm constantly seeing and hearing things from people that say, well, but my husband or my wife is doing this. Mm-hmm. And, and when I hear it, I go, well, that's not uncommon. I mean, for them to, to take money and divert it, it's, I'm not saying it's not wrong and it's not painful. I'm just saying, don't make it more mm-hmm. evil than what it is. And mm-hmm. so, so he's doing those things. I, I don't know how to change that. Um, in any way that's practical. I can help you with how you're addressing it, how you're thinking about it. Maybe he'd be willing to talk to someone. Mm -hmm. I really do want to encourage you to talk to someone, an attorney that knows exactly where you are and can give you some options on what to do because right now Mm -hmm. you've got got to make decisions Mm -hmm. that both consider the long term of the relationship but at the same time address the 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 security of where you are Mm -hmm. okay so if you Mm -hmm. if you have kids you have to take care of or you have to be careful about taking care of yourself you're worried about these things that i'm not talking about a preemptive strike i'm not talking about taking the um you know like the aggression towards it but rather looking at some options to look at because he either you know i i choose to think he's just not thinking right right now he's definitely distracted and messed up in that in the way he's thinking he's doing these things Maybe if you talk to him once more and say, hey, you're back to that, because I assume he knows you know about the affair, right? Mm-hmm. Do, do you know, does he know you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's he, he could be like the old Fred Flintstone cartoon where it had guilty flashing on his forehead in a neon sign. Okay, but let me, I don't, because yeah. that's, not, I, and I, I love Fred Flintstone, don't get me wrong. So, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, but that's how obvious the changes in behavior are. Yeah, but you don't have to that's, go look for anything. It that's not exactly what I asked, though. Let me try this again. It's not your fault. It's mine with, in how I phrased it. So does, is, does he know that you know that he's in an affair? In other words, you said, hey, I know you're in an affair. And he yeah. says, that's right. I'm in an affair. Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, then in that arena, then you're both aware of what's going on. And so um, you have to either decide, one, how much you want to deal with it. But if he knows and you know, then you could have a conversation that says, hey, bud, you know, you're taking that money again. You know that we need it. I'm not telling you how to live your life. I'm just asking you to respect what we have right now for both of our future, no matter what you choose to do. Mm -hmm. And so you're not controlling him or trying to move him in any particular direction. Just rather stay focused on the mutual benefit. What we call this is an approach motive. The approach motive says there's a mutual benefit in this, and because of that mutual mutual benefit, you may do or not do something, which is the opposite of what we call an avoidance motive. And avoidance is you choose to do something or not do something based on the pain it causes. So I would encourage you to, to, to reach out with an approach motive. Hey, here's the advantage both of us have if you can stop doing this. Mm-hmm. Um, otherwise, we're going to both be in trouble or in pain over it and see how that works. But I would definitely look out and see okay. what kind of legal, what you need to do when it comes to an attorney, because I just don't know anything about that. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Okay. I appreciate that. My goal is still to get him to to Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah, we'd love to have we'll you up here. We'll get there. I've come up from a flat out no to a to a maybe. That's so good. Maybe another year we'll make it there. That's a huge progress. <laughs> That's, That's a huge deal, progress. Bro. You're in a marathon, not a sprint. Keep right. that in mind. That's right. Thank yep. you, Kathy. All right. Thank you so much, and I will try that. Thank you. Thank you.